I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Cart Life TV, where we do fun and dumb stuff with golf carts. This is our first episode back since hitting 250 subscribers. Thank you very much. If you missed the celebration video, it's in our featured video section right here on YouTube. Joe, that was a blast. It was awesome. It was awesome. So Make sure fun. you check it out. But we're in the shop today. We got some work to do because we went out to try and run today, 70 miles to Fort Lauderdale and back and the golf cart was running like crap. And we got another fuel issue. This time we're gonna change the carburetor. Super easy job, let's get to work on it. All right guys, so we're gonna get to work on changing the carburetor. This is the 2007 Club Car DS. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the golf cart that we're gonna be driving to Key West in just two weeks from today. Unbelievable, I can't believe it. Um, but we gotta be able to ride the thing. And with a fuel issue and the carburetor not working well, it will never make it there. So we gotta diagnose this, get that thing out of there, figure out what was wrong with it, probably put a new one back in. So the first thing we're gonna do is get it out. You ready to do it? All right, let's go. All right, to take the carburetor out of the Club Car DS only takes about a few minutes. Very simple to do. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench and a pair of pliers. In our case, we need a flathead screwdriver because we do have a normal hose clamp holding the fuel line onto the carburetor. Once you get the fuel line removed from the carburetor, just be careful because a little bit of fuel will more than likely spill out of it. The next thing you're gonna do is disconnect the hose from the valve cover. Just undo the spring clamp and kind of slide it out of the way. Once that's out of the way, remove the two 10 millimeter nuts with a wrench. A socket usually doesn't fit on here. It's kind of a tight area. Just take your time with it. And uh, once those nuts are loose, you can usually get them with your hand. Slide the carburetor out a little bit. The next thing you're gonna do is disconnect the linkage and the spring from the carburetor. This could be a little bit tricky. Sliding the carburetor away from the motor um, does make it easier. There is a bracket between the carburetor and the motor that the spring attaches to. That also slides in and out on the studs. Take your time with this, could be a little bit tricky. Once these things are disconnected, the carburetor should slide easily off the studs. You'll have it loose in your hand. We're gonna just take this one and put it on the bench from now and take a look at it another time. We're gonna replace this carburetor with a new one. Don't forget, there are two gaskets that we use to install a carburetor. One is behind the bracket on the motor. Take that one off right now like this. The next one is behind the carburetor and between the carburetor and the bracket. We'll be taking one on the trip with us because it's such a cheap and easy way to do it that you take it off 15 minutes on and off you can do it on the side of the road it's literally two tools so we'll have an extra one with us
are changed out on the club car DS here. We might have to make some adjustments. We're gonna find out in just a second because we're gonna open the door and take this thing for a quick test drive. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, for real. Big difference? Sounds great. Crisp, clean. Yeah. I feel like it's been like that since the off roading. Yeah, probably. All right, cool. Nice now. All right, we whipped this thing around the parking lot. Everything seems to be great. We're going to take it out on the road now and uh, see if the carburetor made a difference. What do you think? Let's do it. Big difference, right? Yeah, it's huge difference. Let's go check it out. You drive it? What's right. up, guys? We're, uh, we're on A1A. Check the ocean out over here. All right, guys, uh, apologize for the wind noise, but uh, we are here at um, the Atlantic Ocean. This is uh, Palmetto Beach. We got the pavilion here. Just pulled over, um, golf carts behind us, and it is running awesome. No backfires, no Not sputtering. Yeah, no, no, no sputtering of the, of the motor. Awesome low end power. The carburetor was definitely messed up. We're gonna take it apart um, this weekend, probably check it out. Um, we do have a special guest, but remember, two weeks from today, Key West trip. So. Okay. Don't forget, low speed living helps yep. support the channel. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. The link here, lowspeedliving.com. Support the channel. That's it. We're out. Peace.